Hello everybody, my name is Mel the Money Coach. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode on my YouTube channel called Mel the Money Coach, where I help you achieve financial freedom through top-notch coaching because every single person deserves a chance at financial freedom. So this week we're talking about your I've had it moment and how to get started saving your $1,000 emergency fund. So we talked about different ways like grocery shopping, not going to restaurants, um, buying generic, switching things up, all the things, eating out of your freezer. Now today we're going to talk about everyone's favorite topic, especially mine because I love coffee, coffee shops. Oh my gosh, they're amazing. The atmosphere, it's super chill, it's relaxed, you know, all the things, the coffee smells amazing. The problem is it's really, really marked up like a lot. You know, if you think about, you know, I buy my beans in bulk and grind them myself. I mean, $50 in beans would get you, I don't even know how many cups of coffee, a lot compared to $50 in a coffee shop might only get you, say, five cups of coffee, 10 cup, five, eight, I mean, depending on how much fancy stuff you have in there, you know, and it's really easy to add on the extra, you know, espresso, an extra, you know, I'm guilty of this, you know, the extra whip, whip and chocolate chips and flavoring and syrup, and then you have a sandwich, and then pretty soon you're buying a coffee mug, and who knows, like, I have 8,000 coffee mugs. I really don't need another coffee mug, but that coffee mug is really cute and I really like it and it really resonates with me and I'm going for the coffee vibe, like the chill, you know. So think about why you buy the coffee at the coffee shop. Is it you want to socialize with people? Are you in a rush? You're stressed? You want sugar? You need caffeine? You're exhausted? You woke up late? You're in a hurry? And think about all those things and how you can put steps in place that you succeed. So, okay, so say you're in a hurry. Well, grind your coffee the night before, you know, assuming you work a day shift or for me, a night shift. Put it in your coffee pot and the little filter, put the water in there. So all you got to do is press the on button. That's it. And then it brews. Or if you have a a Keurig, you put your pot in there, you're ready to go, you put your cup there, ready to go. All you do is literally push the button, it brews while you're brushing your teeth and putting on your makeup, and then you're out the door. So think about what the trigger is for you with going to a coffee shop, and think about how you can put steps in place to prevent that behavior moving, or to not prevent the behavior, but, you know, to, you know, put safeguards around your choices so that you make the best choice with the decision, you know, in that, in that case. So, um, like I said, for me, I've got to have it all ready to go. I've got to have it out ground, you know, ground ready. I just had to push the button. That's it. I'm not washing my cup. I'm not looking for the right mug. I'm not looking for the right beans. I'm just, you know, have it ready to go. So that's a big one. Um, coffee, coffee, coffee. I love coffee. So, <laughs> Um, if that's a struggle for you too, please uh, leave a, a comment in the um, underneath the comments there. I would love to hear your favorite ways to brew coffee. I love coffee and I'm really learning through the pandemic. There are like a bazillion ways to brew coffee that are amazing that are at home. I mean, you can buy a 30, 20 or $30, you know, I just bought a French press the other day and the coffee is amazing. Not that expensive, not that difficult, amazing coffee for a fraction of the cost compared to going to a coffee shop. So um, that's it. That's all I've got for you today. I get all excited talking about coffee. I'm actually sipping on some right now. It's delicious. Um, so subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, sign up for a free consultation. I would love to talk with you. I would love to walk with you on this journey. I know it's tough and I know it's long and grueling. I would love to be that positive voice in your corner on your team, helping you win. I'll see you next time.